so now we're going to get into photogrammetry and show you the photos that I took. For the images, all you need to do is to make sure at every 10 degree, let's say we want, I want to photogrammetry this pen. I start from here, take a photo, then go right here, stop, take a photo, write that, and you continue this in a circle around your model. Then you go high, do the same thing. When you are moving, you have to stop to take the photo because if you move uh, while you're moving, take a photo, then you're going to mess up your model. And then you go from the bottom, the same thing. So that's where I have all of these photos right here um, from my model. So when you have all of those, then you come to reality capture, you click import, you click there, and then I want to go a little bit, let's see. I don't want to use all of these photos because these are very high res. I'm going to try to um, shift. Actually, I'm going to shift bring in everything, but I don't want to choose um, on all of them because then it becomes a very heavy scene. So now I just pulled in all these photos. Now we're going to go ahead and shift select some of it. I don't want to shift select all of it and see what results do I get with some. The reason for that is I want the file to be simpler and less heavy to solve. Now I'm going to go ahead and click start for this to start solving. So now it's going to start virtually creating a scene. We're going to give it a few moments for it to solve our uh, model. Now that we have the model solved, what we want to do is that we want to take a look at it and see what do we have. So in order to do that, you click Alt and then you can go around and look at this. I'm going to click on these little points, what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm bringing the sides over because I don't want to take all of this garbage with us into our Maya scene or solve it. Okay, so let's see if I have, let's see if I can see, just want to make sure I have enough space. See where it, what does this do? Okay, this brings it up. Let's see. Uh, this brings it over. All right, so the box here will give us the idea of how much of this, everything that is in, in, in this screen that we see, we want to export. We don't want any of these guys. We just want as clean as possible. All right, let's bring that the bottom of this a little bit lower. This. And let me see, where is the other button? Oh, no. All right, so let's see. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to, to uh, process number two, which is calculate model. So it, it aligned the images, it calculated models. While we're waiting for that to render and do its thing, we had a question from Mike. How will this digital model be used in the scene? Is it just for reference to match to the existing models or for texture maps or, or why is it necessary? But that's a very good question. So once we have the CG model, we're going to take it into Maya. Remember, we have the camera tracking. We're going to attach this digital model into our camera tracking. We're going to bring in our actual um, uh, shots into Maya as well. And then we match everything. So what we want to do is we want to put this digital ship where it's aligned with actual shot on, on my, in Maya um, to know exactly where the actuals, because we're going to create the ocean in Maya, right? And, and the image plane that comes in as a shot is just going to be as a reference. So we actually need to have a CG model of the shot for a CG ocean to put it in and create a whole mask for it. So later, because that CG ocean is going to be exported and comes to After Effects for compositing, and we want to have a whole as a mask uh, in, in, in that uh, ocean. Uh, that's why we need the CG model. For it. But you'll know more what I'm talking about once we get to Maya and we actually use uh, the model to create a hole and um, as a mask. 
So now we're, that we're waiting for uh, this model to be solved, the, I just want to give you some tips for photogrammetry. It's best to have overcast. Full uh, sunshine is not good because it, uh, the photos are not going to be easily solved. If, it, if you're an indoor, therefore you want no, you know, maybe if we're in a situation like here, then you're okay. Um, but if you're outside, it's good to wait for a day that is overcast. Yes. And uh, this is almost there. When you're solving your model and you are waiting for this reconstruction to happen and you are in the background, you see all these, most of these little dots form, that's a good sign. Sometimes you don't see any of those and nothing's happening. That means you didn't have enough photos. Um, you have to add more photos um, and then resolve it again. That would not be a good solve. But this is good news. Right now we see a lot of the, the points of those little points uh, that are going to become a CG model. A mesh is all there. So once this is done, uh, finished uh, solving, if this was not something you wanted, then you go back again and align images again. All right, now this model is finished. Let's check it out. Let's go back, zoom in and check out to see what we have. This little guy here we don't want, but you can get rid of it in Maya. So this model right here, when you realign and solve, it might not give you the textures so that the next step would be to texture. I'm going to, you see it says F9 texture. I'm going to hit F9 to see if this model actually has texture, it doesn't. So we're gonna click texture. So the texture, what this is happening right now is that it will look at all of the images, look at all the best angles and the lightings on, uh, from those and picks those from the image and then puts it as a um, texture on top of this, this model. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and make sure, hopefully this it will give us everything that we were hoping for. If this doesn't happen, um, then you go back, you pick more photos, you start the process again until you get the model that you want. There, it's beautiful. All right, where we are. Let's look at it. I have the octopus. This box is something we can get rid of in Maya right now. I'm not gonna touch it. Let's zoom in and see. This is from the top. There we are. We have our CG model. Now we're going to click export and there I'm going to use Autodesk FBX. When you click on it, then I'm going to go to folder in Y. Uh, so you have to, you, you know, you can create a, a folder ahead of time for your Maya photogrammetry. I'm going to go to my Maya right here. Let's put it under the container ship. So we're going to put ship. I'm going to, because I want to remember which model this is, I'm just going to say photogram. So that way I remember this is the model from photogrammetry 001. All right. And let's save it. It's exporting for us. We're at this point, I already am signed in with Epic. Um, login. That's why I have the licenses. But in this case, if the license pops up, all you need to do is log in, put in your password and PIN number, and it will come in. So now what we're going to do is save it for ourselves. Save as. I'm going to save it as reality capture scene, however you want. I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Number two, and save this. So if you needed to come back to this reality capture and resolve, some of it or add more photos, then you come back to this so you don't lose it. And there we are.